Okay, so you've put in all this effort to do this really important drawing, and now you want to preserve it. And you might want to know how to use spray fixative. So I've got a couple of other videos, like what is a spray fixative and how to choose the best spray fixative. But I also want to show you how to use the spray fixative so that you don't ruin this drawing that you've worked so hard or so many hours on. So let's take a look at how to apply the spray fixative and I'll show you some steps. Okay, so I would like to show you guys now how I apply the spray fixative. And there are first a couple of things that I will recommend. First of all, you might notice that I'm outside. So I'm never going to spray this in an inside space because this stuff is really toxic and bad for you to breathe in. The second thing is now that we all have face masks everywhere, I'm gonna use a face mask to prevent myself from breathing this in because it's really bad for your lungs. Um, secondly, it's a crazy windy day here. So if the wind kicks up, you're going to notice like I'll be eating my hair. But because of that, I want to make sure that I use something like a mug or something heavy to weigh my drawings down because otherwise they, I mean, they already have these drawings that I've worked so hard on flew across the yard just a minute ago because I didn't have the mugs with me. So you need to make sure that you're going to weigh those down. And then um, I'm going to show you how to apply the fixative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the drawing so that it's ready. I'm going to spray the fixative and then I'm going to tell you how I'm doing it because I want to be able to put the mask on so that I'm not breathing this in. So I've got my mugs here that are holding it down. Of course, I've got this one flying loose. It's probably going to fly across the yard again. Let me weigh that one down real quickly. And then I'm going to put my mask on so that I'm not going to inhale this toxic stuff. And then you're going to watch these steps. I'll tell you about it in a second. Okay, so what I did, and I'm gonna move Abe Lincoln over here so he doesn't get damaged. I shook the can for about 30 seconds, maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds. You can hear that clanking ball in there that's going to make sure that your material materials are not um, separating in the can if you haven't used it for a while. The next thing I did was I sprayed off to the side and that's because oftentimes with these spray fixatives, when you start to spray, they, they will drop huge drips on the paper. If the spray can is clogged at all, and you can actually see there's some um, congestion here on the nozzle, if that's happening at all, it can get on your drawing and then ruin your drawing with that drip. So I spray off to the side, then I move on to the paper. And then the distance that you're going to notice that I am from the paper is about 12 inches. I'm going to spray horizontally, wait a second, spray vertically, wait a second, and then spray diagonally, and wait a second. And what you're doing is you're kind of hitting the paper, the highs and the lows of the paper from all sides that way. And so those are the steps. Then you just want to leave this artwork outside for a length of time so that it can air out. Now today it's so windy, everything's blowing around, my cord's blowing around, my hair's blowing around, whatever. This is going to air out really quickly, it's not going to be a problem. But if it were a dry or, I'm, I'm sorry, a still or a humid day, you would want to let it wait outside for longer and you don't want to do this on a day where it's rainy at all. So make sure that it's a dry temperature day you're not um, going to risk getting your artwork rained on and then your spray fixative will be able to help you out a lot. Now this drawing is preserved. It's not going to be perfect. You could still smudge it, but it's got a lot more protection on it with this fixative. So I hope that helps you guys out. 
So that is the way that I apply my spray fixative to make sure to protect the drawing that I've spent so much time and effort on because the last thing you want to do is have a beautiful drawing that you ruin by applying the spray fixative in a way that is not going to be preserving the pristineness of your drawing. So I hope that helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and there'll be more videos coming.